welcome to Surrey TV. I'm Chantal Hooley and today we're at Bird World. And sticking with the aviation theme, but a different type of aviator, today we're here to see the birds. All right, let's go and have a look, shall we? Thousands of senior citizens needing a new book and a new or renewed bus pass can now get both in the same place thanks to Surrey County Council initiative. The council libraries are now able to make the relevant checks, assist with completing the forms required and take any required photos. In the initial rollout of the scheme, staff at branches help more than 11,000 people get their passes. The same libraries also offer a checking service for blue badge applicants aged 80 and over who need to renew their badges. Helen Clack, Surrey County Council's cabinet member for our community services said, our libraries are at the heart of our communities and are so much more than a place to just borrow books. Whether you need help with getting your bus pass, want to take a course online or fancy getting an e-book to read on the go, our libraries cater for every demand. More information can be found at surreycc.gov.uk and the library's link on the right hand side of the screen. joined by Emma Stevens and we also have a little fellow over here, George. <laughs> and we're here at Penguin Beach because we would find you by the beach. Um, <laughs> as lots of your inspiration comes from the sea, doesn't it? It does, yeah. And Absolutely. your new single, tell us my about that. My new single is called Make My Day. Yeah. And um, it was released on um, the Sunday just gone. I can't remember what date that was. I think it was the 24th, 24th yeah, of August. 24th, yeah. Um, <laughs> And I've just absolutely loved being able to bring out the fourth single and it's off my second album. Yeah. So yeah. Congratulations. Well. It is so going much. really well for you. And we know that that's single coming from a new album, as yeah. you say. And can you tell us the name of the new album? No one knows this yet. <laughs> <laughs> the new album is called Waves. Waves. So it's quite apt that we're here yeah. the beach with George. Sort of <laughs> where you'd feel most at home, I suppose, Absolutely, in that sense. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> and also, can you tell us about what happened that day when you got people to lie out, spelling out, make my day? Was that it? was crazy. I just had this really sort of wacky idea. Um, and it, it kind of went to plan, really. We got about 60 fans to lie out on Newlands Corner in Surrey. Yeah. Um, spelling out, make my day with their bodies that oh. lying down and then I took a little my boyfriend has his pilot's license so we t I make I make the most of that whenever I can yeah, sure. <laughs> we took a little plane up over Newlands Corner and filmed them making the shape and in fact they made make my day M heart exclamation mark oh, and it was amazing That's and I got amazing. to meet them afterwards and I kind of did it for charity as well so for every one person that turned up I gave a pound to the Surrey Wildlife Trust. Oh, so it was, wow. yeah, it was really lovely. Yeah, and brings in wildlife again. So exactly. that shows you, yeah. Nature. Ideal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the new single, Make My Day, is an absolute must-have and we want to get hold of it, but where from? Where can we so go? So, you can currently download it on iTunes, on Google Play and Amazon, and the album's going to be coming out in October, October the 14th, and you can buy that from, hopefully, from HMV. Woo! And, um... <laughs> across the internet. So yeah, fabulous. <laughs> well, best of luck. Thank you very Fantastic. much. Fantastic. The table is set for the second Woking Food and Drink Festival from Friday the 5th to Sunday the 7th of September 2014. The launch food festival last year was a huge success and this year's festival looks to be heading in the same direction. The town centre will be bursting with over 60 mouth-watering stalls, cooking demonstrations and workshops. Last year's festival attracted in excess of 20,000 visitors and this year's will be bigger and better with the festival's footprint stretching across the pedestrian areas in the town. More information can be found at wokingfoodanddrinkfestival.co.uk
Surrey-based comedian Tim Vine won the Best One-Liner Award again at this year's Edinburgh Festival. The Banstead-based comedian's one-liner was selected over nearly 3,000 other one-liners and jokes. He won after recounting why he was selling his Hoover. I've decided to sell my Hoover. Well, it was just collecting dust. <laughs> A worthy winner. That's a worthy a winner? One. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so we have George here, the yep. gorgeous George, and he's been hand reared, is that right? Yep. Since he was an egg? Since he was an egg, yeah. So he's about four months old now, and he was hand reared by me. But I also had um, some helpers as well from Jack and Paula. Uh, this is my first penguin that I've hand reared this year as well. <laughs> Congratulations. It's remarkable what you do here. Do you, I mean, you must love it. Yeah, I do love it. I like getting up in the, in the morning and going to work and knowing that I'm going to see these little guys. Yeah. <laughs> so George is especially talented and we know that he's made a few other appearances doing some other things. Yeah, he supported um, the World Cup, dressed him up and everything and things like that. Yeah. Uh, he's been out on our conservation evening, helped support the penguins and raise awareness. Um, he's also good for one of our penguin feeding experiences as well, so people could come and interact with him a little bit more, get a bit more close, see what penguin feels like and everything. Yeah. Well, we're so honoured to be standing actually here where the penguins are living, so thank you so much for having us today. <laughs>
This is a great family day out, even if you aren't a car or plane enthusiast. There's plenty to do, including a military and stunt zone, and if you fancy going for a spin, you can try out the latest supercar in the motoring paddock. So if you haven't been before, I definitely recommend you book your tickets for next year. Back to you, Chantel. Another event for next weekend, the return of the G-Live Beer Festival at the Guildford Entertainment and Concert Hall on the London Road. Starting on Friday at 6.30pm, the festival continues on Saturday with two sessions for lovers of real ale and ciders. There will be 40 ales ready to be sampled and at least 10 ciders from all local and neighbouring breweries from Surrey. Tickets are available from glive.co.uk. This event is a busy one, so it would be good to book them now to avoid disappointment. The Surrey Roller Girls and Roller Boys will be in action again this weekend for their first double bout at the Guildford Spectrum on Saturday. The Surrey Roller Girls will take on the Royal Windsor's Crown Jewels, plus Surrey Jamawockies take on the Portsmouth Scurvy Dogs in an action-packed doubleheader that always includes some trips to the sin bin for all players. Doors open at 1.30pm and the first whistle is at 2pm. Tickets are £6 in advance and the kids are free. And just a reminder that we have a family ticket for Guildford Flames match at the Spectrum up for grabs this season. The Flames begin their campaign to become champions once again with two challenging games against the Basingstoke Bison at the beginning of September. Just send your answer to this question to our Facebook or Twitter account and the links are on the website. Who is the head coach for the Guildford Flames? We've had a real chirpy day here at Birdwell. And my favourite part, I have to say, was meeting little George the Penguin. He was just so gorgeous. And I really urge you to come down here and see him for yourself, because on Halloween, they're dressing him up as well as the rest of the park. Anyway, thank you for watching Surrey TV. Stay well and enjoy the county. <laughs> Probably make a start before George won. Oh, there oh right, he's going to win. <laughs>